Okay, so just want to remind ourselves of, of where we are. Um, we want to basically uh, have a very simple mathematical expression for thrust of a, an aircraft propulsion device. So here's our propulsion device. I don't care what that really is. All we want to know is that it generates some thrust, all right? We place this thing inside a control volume. And what the control volume means is that we only need to consider what's happening on the left-hand side of the control volume and what's happening on the right-hand side of the control volume. We don't really have to be bothered about anything that happens in there, okay? What happens in there, of course, is what makes the whole thing work, but for this analysis, we only need to consider what's happening on the left-hand side and what's happening on the right-hand side, and derive an expression to generate the thrust, okay? So just to kind of give you an idea of, uh, of what I'm talking about, um, I've got a turbojet here, mounted on a test bench, test stand, okay. Just get this uh, camera positioned neatly. Okay. So, this is an educational turbojet. Uh, you can actually stick these things on quite large model aircraft and very high performance. Um, it's a turbojet. So, in a sense, this box is the control volume that it sits in, okay? So we don't really have to be concerned about this, what it is. It sits on something to measure thrust, we get the thrust out of it. So what we can consider in terms of a control volume, the inlet is over here, so all the air is guided into the inlet, and this inlet, the, 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 the entrance plane of the inlet is far enough upstream from the actual gas turbine, such that we know that the pressure here is the local ambient atmospheric pressure. Okay, so all the air comes in here with the inlet momentum. Now this is a static thrust test bench, so the inlet momentum is basically zero. We've just got mass flow rate at very low speed. Okay, um, anyway, the air enters the uh, turbojet, all the thermodynamic processes happen inside the turbojet, and then the gas flow leaves the uh, nozzle at a very high speed. So the same mass going in, plus a little bit of fuel, the, 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 the added mass of fuel is small, so, uh, air mass going in, air mass coming out, but coming out at a much, much higher velocity. The pressure at the exit of the nozzle down here is the same as the atmospheric pressure. So this is the control volume, really. And this, this system here, to the, to the left-hand side of it, is just to get the uh, exhaust gas uh, safely out of the room and um, somewhere over uh, Keldinger Road Park out there. So, think of this as a control volume. If you want to conceptualize what that control volume is, this is it. The, the, the measurement system will measure the thrust. So we don't need to be bothered about what's happening in there. We get a thrust result out of this. So low momentum flowing in, high momentum flowing out, forces rate of change in momentum, thrust in that direction. Okay?